Now, now my grandson's asked me to talk about this situation with the Novak to Djokovic getting deported. I, I, look, I, I, I'll tell you what, I've been in a similar experience with this is probably why he asked me, because down at the club we had a pennant match with uh, against Juni, and it was a very, it was a big, it was one of the finals as part of the start of this whole COVID situation. And, and uh, Brian from down at the club, he, he has refused to get um, uh, vaxxed and he's a skip of the of the C grade, so he's one of our better players. But he's, for whatever reason, he, he was, his body and it was, didn't want to get the vaccine and he just refused to get it. Now, he was still allowed to go and play with Judy. And it's, he... he, he Imagine if we turned up to the journey and he ticked the wrong box and then, oh, oh boo-hoo, we're getting upset and Brian should be allowed to play because he's, he's the skip of our C-grade, but that's not what happened. Brian uh, was told by the club, everyone at the club, we all wanted him to play, but we told him they can't play, Brian, it's, but it's the rules. That's the thing about the tennis players, they think they're above the rules now. And, and, and I, I long for the days, I don't ever follow tennis anymore, because ever since, you know, it all, I, I love the Swedish players. You had Bjorn Borg and, and Stefan Edberg and, and, and Mats and They were gentlemen on, on, the, on the courts. They... They, you know, they they played just a different style of the game, and, and a lot of people have described me as sort of a Stefan Edberg of, of, of the Bowls Club. I've got a similar style about the way that I play, but I think tennis all went downhill. When when I remember when Pat Cash first started playing with that. Headband with the with the chicken flag and it was it was a bit too much razzle razzle dazzle. Uh, he he oh, he just and he had the hair cut with the with the the flat top and a, a, something of a mullet I think the kids call it and I said stick to tennis pet cash. Just keep trying to get that ball in the court. Uh, and anyway. So that's uh, the, the. I would say that at this point, with the it's the Australian, it's forty love to the Australian uh, government and uh, against Davak and Dijek. And, and an interesting point is that, that the love in that uh, you know, it's actually because on the scorecard it looks like an egg, I think. I love a, a boiled egg, I guess, or even just an egg cooked egg as it comes straight out of the chicken. Anyway, I think it's French. Not sure, but uh, you know, don't get me started on that because you know it happened with the yogurt, uh, and it's a tricky language, French. But the, that's my stance on. Uh, you know, I'll be glad to see the back of Novak out of this. This this country and and get over this drama you know with a, or you know what i am, am surprised about is that i there was a long time where there was talk that squash would take over tennis as the game of, uh, because it took up less space as the world played it and there was the khan brothers i believe they were the indian fellows and they were wonderful and i, and I wouldn't mind seeing a resurgence of squash in this country but anyway, that's my take on it, and that's my f- my two Bob, Bob's worth, and uh, and I hope you got something out of it. <laughs>